This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. It's all about this guitar again today, this rather nice Ert Corsair Telecaster copy. Um, you know, the the uh, the thing about these guitars is the necks on them are absolutely sublime. Um, if you haven't tried one, try one and you will be addicted, I promise you. Um, I bought this guitar used and as you saw on if you're watching on Thursday it had an intonation issue that I was uh, talking about uh, figuring out so the word to the wise here um, these guitars come with a, a three saddle traditional style tele bridge and uh, the previous owner had uh, replaced that with this bridge here a six saddle bridge but you've got to be careful when you do that because this particular six saddle bridge uh, mounts further back because you know the the the, the mounting holes and the um, you know the the holes where the strings go through through the body that's a fixed date and point and that's where the bridge has to go and the saddles fit uh, sit further back uh, meaning that um, it wouldn't intonate properly um, because the saddles won't wouldn't come far enough forward to um, to basically intonate the guitar but we fixed that put the original uh, bridge back on and it's now got compensated brass saddles which when you measure the intonation on this guitar now with um, just a regular tuner it's blob on perfect if you go full on and um, you know kind of use a strobe tuner it's still not quite there but it's better than it was and it's certainly good enough for you know um, that you can't really hear uh, any any uh, intonation discrepancies now the other thing that i've done with this um is i thought while i was whipping the bridge off it would be a good opportunity to uh replace the bridge pickup which is uh, something that i was thinking about doing with this guitar anyway and you know well while the bridge has got to come off what better time to do it and that's what the video is all about today this is um an artec um alnico 5 hot rails blade style uh single coil sized humbucker that you can get on amazon for i think i paid 21 quid for it um so you know not a lot of money for um a rather i think you'll agree uh nice sounding pickup so before we go any further let's hear what this pickup sounds like in a mix the only uh, guitar tone i used in this particular piece is that bridge pickup there and you're going to hear it's uh with a, a sort of a clean telecaster -y kind of sound and with a bit more grunt going on as well sounds like this <laughs>
And as always, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF format, along with a clip of me playing it, and a jam track for you to play along with for yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address, and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional goodies and resources that go along with these YouTube videos. So i got to tell you, I'm very, very impressed. £21 worth of pickup. That is uh, money well spent, I think. It still has that identifiably spiky, wiry telecasteriness, especially on those kind of clean ish lead guitar parts. But it's got the kind of grunt and the uh, kind of the shoutiness when you pile on the gain. Um, the settings I was using there for the. Um, for the the clean lead guitar part was as always i was plugged into the uh, blue guitar amp one i was using the clean channel on that with the the boost switched on just to kind of give it a little bit of sizzle on those um on those sort of cleanish lead guitar parts and i was using the uh the classic channel which is more of a uh jcm 800 kind of tone um with again with a foot switchable boost on for the uh the shoutier high again sort of stuff and i think that and if i can just butt in here i'm just editing the video together you can see it's on that screen over there on the other pc um i forgot to mention that um for the kind of riffy bits you know those that crunchy riff at the beginning and so on i was using this setting on the blue guitar amp one which is the vintage setting uh overdrive setting it's much more of an old plexi kind of tone and was just perfect uh for that riffy kind of stuff especially as i say with that new humbucker pickup anyway as i was saying stuff. and i think that pickup really really handled it well it still sounded it sounded like a telecaster but it sounded like a telecaster that had you know um been going to the gym rather a lot maybe um you know i used to do that would you believe yes um, <laughs> but uh, not for a while as you can probably tell um you know it's 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 got that sort of rock telecastery kind of sound to it and just the the absolutely gorgeous neck on on the guitar um you action lower than a rattlesnake's belly and slinky glassy feeling uh, stainless steel frets very very pleasant playing experience and um the reason i put the like a hot pickup in the bridge on this is because uh this guitar as i say was modded a little bit by its previous owner and he'd put tone rider alnico 2 blues pickups in i love those pickups but i've already got those in another telecaster style guitar so it just seemed to be well why have two guitars that are essentially going to be performing the same function this is much more now of the um you know the the, the rock beast telecaster rather than the uh, the more traditional um the the Faisley outlaw coyote plus that i've got which has got the tone riders in so yeah very very happy with the way this has turned out um and as I say, if you're looking for an upgrade for a, a Telecaster bridge pickup and you want something a little bit hotter but still identifiably a Telecaster tone uh, and something that will handle the gain quite nicely and you haven't got a lot of money to spend or even if you have why spend more than you need to then check these pickups out you can get them just go on to amazon search artec hot rails telecaster or something like that they're all over ebay as well so you can plenty of places where you can get them and um you know well you've heard what it sounds like i think it sounds fantastic and um i hope you agree um i'm gonna have some fun with with that guitar um it's um i think that one's a keeper now indeed so that's pretty much the video for today folks hope you've uh, enjoyed what you've seen and found it entertaining and informative in, in some small way at least and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like as well while you're at it don't forget the live stream every friday 5 p.m uk time we drink beer and we talk about music and guitars what a great way to kick off the weekend i'd love to see you there if you can make it but for now i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now